do you always open your chart and you know the market is uptrend you put in your buy order leave the chart after four hours if you trade four hours time frame you come back and you're like what is not happening <laughs> the market is against you and the sell has taken over guys my name is Esther Moffri. If you're coming here for the first time, let's do this video. And I want to show you something new, something that will change your trading journey if you pay attention. So let's get started. In today's video, I want to show you the number one mistake people do, not changing their concept. For instance, if I come and I open my chart on four hour time frame, and for me, my mind and my brain, even if I try to squeeze this chart, my brain is seeing a buy opportunity. We can see a buy trend. And the mistake that we do, we do not want to change that concept once things start changing. We want to keep insisting that the market is buy when now everything in the structure has changed. And if you are suffering from that thing, it is high time you convince your mind to see things that others are not seeing. If you come in and spot a buy opportunity, you need to tell your brain that that buy opportunity can change anytime soon. So you don't need to, to, to stick to your buy opportunities trying to fix trades where they are not. So let's try and figure out what this market is telling us. We can see for sure that this market has been going on an upward trend. We are making high highs and high lows, high highs and high lows. And the previous high is clearly showing us that this market it is an uptrend. And when you have an, up, uh, an upward trend, all you need to do is to wait for a retracement, which you call a pullback. And you can do, you can put your, um, your trend line, you can use your moving average to know what is really happening. You can put your trend line. Those who work with trend line, they can put their trend line and they can see maybe they can try to, to fix their trend line to, to see where the retracement will come to. So the problem with many people, they don't want to know if the market has changed their initial bias or the initial thought. So many people stick to the first thing they open their chart to, and that's where the problem is. So for us, we know this market is an uptrend, but we will change our bias once indications of the uptrend start changing. And I will try to give you my mind when I started uh, practicing my strategy that I teach on my mentorship program. And then I'll give you the mind that I had without the strategy. The, the mind of everyone, let me see. So many people will come and mark their zones and people, they mark their zones very, very aimlessly. They just say, uh, this place has been touched how many times? That's how I used to mark my zones. You say it has been touched one, two, three, and then you come mark another zone here. Ah, sorry. You come and mark another zone here and you say this place has been touched one, 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 two, and now you have a zone here and you, for, for people mark zones like that, but uh, today I want to teach you a new way of marking your zones. So the first thing that you need to do to mark your zone, yes, you know this is an uptrend, you need to, to put a line. Let me, let me give you, put a line where the market had had gone higher before it broke. You see the market broke that line. You can see clearly the market broke that line. So the first thing that you need to analyze this chart you put that line to these previous buyers before we had the big move because clearly this is a very big momentum move and we know now buyers are ready to push this market, put that line. If this retracement has broken that line, that is your first flag because if, we, if at all the market wants to retrace, it doesn't need to break our zone. Our zone can hold and the market can continue going upward. And see buyers had attempted, let me even uh, zoom in, buyers had attempted to push the market higher. Immediately the market touched our line. So guys, if you put that line and you see 
that line has been broken that is your first flag that the market structure is not what the market makers or the banks or whoever controls this market want you to see it is something else so that is what i do the first thing i want to put that line and immediately i see the market has been broken like that i know now this market can either do two things it can either be a deep retracement and it can buy crazy or buyers have been defeated so if i mark that line the next thing that i'm doing is uh where that buyer is the last candle the last green candle you can see these are very uh downtrend momentum you can see all these red candles they are pushing down where is our previous candle that is green where did the buyers come in to try to push that market that is our zone the whole of that candle so you can see that green candle is our whole moment a, a whole a whole zone so i'll just mark my zone like that that is my zone and already have one zone and this is four hour i have one zone and then if this market is going down where will it go to you can see you can now change the things we remember we were seeing a downtrend now try to 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 check on the uptrend you can see this market is going on the upward and the 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 sellers who are here they attempted to drop the market they are in the zone that we had created already so we are not interested with these two red small candles but here we have another two small candles before we got this uh big two momentum candle so these are our these are our our target those these candles are our target guys follow because there's something i'm trying to show you so that's our target and those are our target so what you do you take a box again we need at least two zones you take a box and mark those two red candles like that and then you have the that zone and for me the minute i see the sellers has not uh, taken this market down i'm not interested in, bu in buying the market why the market has to touch my zone guys this is not like uh it's not something i'm telling you i'm guessing this is something i've been practicing and i know if you put a zone like that and it has not touched don't uh don't be quick to buy in this market and if you will buy make sure your stop loss is very big why the market has to touch that zone one way or the other the market has to touch that zone so uh remember we we our mind saw a buy and we want to buy this market but ask yourself if i'm buying where is my take profit many people will come here and they'll see now having two zones sorry i have two zones i know if the market uh had already touched if this sell had touched my zones i'll be very comfortable in buying this market but at this moment i'm not even comfortable but because we have a bullish engulfing candle which is the candle that you are given by the market makers the banks or which, whoever controls the market they have to give you a reason to enter by they'll give you a bullish engulfing candle and everyone when they see a bullish engulfing candle they get in and the mistake number mistake two is wrong target so when you target wrong and you target so huge profit your orders are not activated your take profit will never get activated so many people let's first leave the, the stop loss many people will target the previous high because that's what they were taught they were taught if you enter any buy market your tp is your previous high so everyone will be targeting the previous high and it's not bad if that previous high you have analyzed and there is no any obstacle in between so for me because i have an obstacle at the middle my tp changes to where the obstacle starts and that's the whole difference guys that's the whole difference if you don't understand this strategy this is what i teach you call, call me i can teach you one on one i can draw if it will it will cost me to draw on a paper or this thing works and if at all you need proof just call me <laughs> of course with money for my mentorship i don't do free mentorship everything free is on my youtube channel so guys my tp is at that zone 
Where is my stop loss? For me, I have a clear mind that the stop loss can be anywhere on this box. So for me, I will not tell you where to put stop loss because I know how market makers play. They will make sure where you put your stop loss is where they will react to the market. So what I can advise you about stop loss is use 8 year average true range. And on my zone, I should put 44 pips. So let's see 44 pips. So if you are interested to put stop loss from the zone, I've told you the market can react to that box. The market can go there. So we'll put 44 pips, 44 pips there. So we put 44 pips away to the box. So that is the correct. We'll see if ATR can, uh, it is lying to us or it is accurate. That's where the ATR is saying we put our stop loss so that we cannot be stopped out. Where have I, why have I said 44 pips? If you put 44 pips from where the market is, trust you me, you will get stopped out. You need to check where the market can react to and then now put 44 pips. So from where you are entering this trade, from where you are entering this trade, your stop loss should be 133 pips. But what, what are you gaining? What are you gaining? You are gaining how many pips? You are gaining 50 pips. So it's you to do calculation. Do you want to risk 133 pips for 50 pips? And if you are sure with my strategy, if you are very sure with my strategy, this is something you can do. You can risk because at the end of the day, it will hit my zone. So guys, let's see what happens. Did the market target the zone? So let's see. So the market, of course, um, it started to, to go down. And we see how did it go down. You can see it is attempting. What what is the market doing? You can see it has hit my TP, but it was only inside my zone, guys. This is something I'm telling you. If you don't realize what zones do, the market attempted inside my zone. So for me, I would have put that uh, stop loss if there was news because it can even spike higher but the stop loss cannot be touched if you know how to put stop loss so my market 10 immediately i entered by because it had not touched my zone the market started going downward but immediately the market touched my tp and you can see my tp was touched very well so the other thing is the market has touched your tp and you think oh now we are buying up to this zone no you only need to know what will happen so from there let's now observe the market and now we are open our mind is open we have two good zones the market can react to remember the market reacted when it was here it can still react again and if we sell this market already we know where to target we are targeting back to the zone let's see what happens we want just an indication of a sell opportunity and we got that this this market was rejected and it was it has a rejection candle from the zone so even if you sell this market remember there are people who are trying to buy that is the worst thing and the worst mistake so if we short this market we will target back to the zone because we need to have a targeted place where you are targeting. And then your stop loss, I've told you your stop loss, the market can react to this place. Just use the ATR to guide you after your zone. So let's see what happened. Did the market react to the, uh, did it touch our TP? So the market came and again, it touched our TP. So you would have won two trades. You would have won the first one would be how many pips 52 but the second one would be at least more the second one would be 101 pips and then what happens people now trend to keep buying they don't know that the trend is now changing so we'll observe these two zones and then i'll keep in mind if the market breaks my zones where is the market going I can start creating my zones. I'll show you how I come up with my zones. I have another zone here. In the last red candle, I have a zone there. So I have how many zones? I have 
uh, two more zones. So I'll keep uh, checking on my zones to see what really happens. You can now start my box strategy, uh, my box strategy, and you can be able to start selling this market because the why is sellers pushing pushing this market so let's put a line here that was our previous low and we are comfortable selling that market if it breaks that low so if it breaks that low we are comfortable selling in that market so let's see what happens so if the market breaks that zone we are comfortable entering a sale so if the market's break so we wait we wait let me put the speed high and you can see the market broke that zone so if you enter sell if you enter sell now and you target even the last zone let's see we enter sell short position because the zone has been broken and even if we target the last zone let's see what happens we'll make it faster and see what really happened so the, the market of course it has told you now we are going down and there is no going back and you can see there will be rejection every time there is a zone and once that zone is broken it is easier to go to the next zone and that's what i'm teaching on my mentorship guys this video was long i didn't want it to be this long but i hope you have gotten what i've told you never see something in the market and this market really traded downward those people who tried to enter buy on euro audi i know Character development has happened and you'll never try to get in in a trade without confirmation because this market is still is selling every time this market is selling. So don't get in a trade without a good confirmation. So those people who are trying to buy that market without confirmation, the market still continue going down. So thank you so much for guys for watching until next time. Bye bye. Love you.